Happy Tuesday, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making vegan zucchini muffins. They were super bomb. They were so good. I shared them with Graham. I brought them to teacher training that I was leading over the weekend. And I still have like half of this huge zucchini. That's literally feel like this is the size of my head. I feel like this is the perfect time of the year for those of you that are growing veggies. Me and Graham are getting vegetables from everybody, which I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, but this is just a nice way to use up your veggies and bake something delicious. I'm in a super good mood right now. I just got fantastic news for work. So I'm super, super excited and I thought that I would share that excitement and share something delicious with you. I'm so stoked. The universe is awesome. When there was a full moon, no joke, the intention that I set a couple days ago I think this was like last Thursday. The full moon intention that I set was financial abundance and something else that I can't quite say just yet because I'm just waiting for the manifest to happen. But financial abundance is cruising. I'm so stoked. I'm so, so excited. So, so excited and so, so grateful. Ingredients are super quick just because I have everything out in front of me. So zucchini, rolled oats, salt, I have two jars of tahini coconut oil, one of my tried and true cinnamon, vanilla, flax meal, and this guy lives in the fridge, walnuts, a little bit of texture, a little bit of crunch, baking powder, spelt flour. What's the deal here? 35 grams of whole grains per serving. Soy milk. This is the one that I showed, I think, with my coffee video. $1.79, thank you very much. These little demon cats. I leave my baking stuff downstairs just in like a big tote bag. And the cats again, they got my coconut sugar. So anyways, that's the ingredients for vegan tahini zucchini. Ah! Muffins, vegan zucchini tahini muffins. Bake with me, yeah? Let's preheat the oven to 375. Boom. Let's tie up the pants. Two tablespoons of the flax meal in just a tiny little bowl. One, two. What we're doing right now is just making a flax egg. To the flax meal, we'll add one third cup of water. Seriously, these were so bomb. I'm so excited to share this with you. And refined sugar-free, but they're not gluten-free because of the spelt flour and the oat flour. I'm not gluten-free, but just so you know what I know. Whisk up flax meal and water. Let that sit there. In the big bowl, two cups of spelt flour. You know, but it's just gonna get on the counter, which is fine. So we're working with dry ingredients first. Oh, oh, oh. And two. And then just whatever got on the counter, you know? Let's not be wasteful. Get that right in the bowl. I'm gonna take the place of myself and Graham here. Flax meal, putting away. Who doesn't like a clean workspace, you know? One cup of rolled oats. This is a quarter cup in here that lives in the container. Three, four. Yeah, I'm a couple on the counter. This I am going to leave out because we're going to use that in the topping. Two tisps, teaspoons of baking powder. Use this nice tool. Thank you very much. One and two. And a little bit of salt. I won't have exact measurements, so I'm just going to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13. Yeah, two tests, ground cinnamon. I fly through cinnamon. Oh, been there, work with me. Okay, and two. With all of our dry ingredients, I'm going to grab a whisk, mix that. We have got flour flying. Easy, quick. To add in the wet ingredients, I'm going to make a little I don't know if it's called well, a little hole in the middle of all the dry. And that's where I'll put in all of the wet ingredients. Vanilla, two teaspoons. And to the tahini, we'll go half a cup of the tahini. Come on. As far as I'm concerned, the tahini is just gonna keep us in a moist, delicious place. Is that a little sexual? Is it just me or is it super satisfying finishing food? That's two less things in the fridge. Third of a cup of coconut oil, so I will have to melt that down. A little messy. We're going to skip the moisturizing part today. Pop that 
in the microwave. And then while the coconut oil is melting down, I'm going to add in the flax egg, which is perfectly thick. Just like the tahini, the flax egg is just going to keep it moist and help everything to stick together. I used a plate. One cup of your milk of choice. Oh, oh, oh. Maple syrup. I forgot to mention maple syrup at the beginning. So here I am now, it's a half a cup of maple. I'm gonna mix everything together again, just until it's all combined, so not to over mix it. I feel like I'm always saying how good it smells, but when it does, it just does. And then I just like to do a little taste test to be sure. Last thing is the zucchini. I'm going to use the food processor for this instead of hand grating it. It'll just be a lot faster. I'm grabbing our food processor. I'm going to cut the zucchini up. It's big like, what would you call this? Like pie piece? Then I'll do quarters of that until the food processor is full. The top on. Okay, this one piece didn't go. But I don't want to overdo it because then it'll get mushy. And then same thing just with the rest of the zucchini. All that we have left to do is make the topping, which is super easy. I just use the coconut sugar, cinnamon, and oats. Coconut sugar and walnuts. Mm. That's a big chunk. <laughs> Great way to get a good, I mean, <coughs> relative dose of veggie, yeah. Add it into your baked goods and you don't even know. And then just the topping and we'll put it in muffin tins and then we're good to throw it in the oven. Now you know what I'm hiding. Now I know what she's got under that house coat. <laughs> okay, so just the muffin tins. Now we can separate them. My hair's clean, so I'm really, really in a good place. I'm doing two muffin tins. The last time when I made this, it made 15 in total. I did find that it was super sticky, even to the paper, so when I drop these in all of the sections, I'm going to give them a little spray with just coconut oil, and hopefully that will fix the problem. We're gonna do 16, just in case. Do you find the liner? Yep. Done. I'm drinking the dandelion root with frost milk and rose petals that I had in my last video. If you didn't see that, I was super excited to share that with you guys. I will link it up here if you're interested in watching that. Just separating the batter. One of these bigger spoons. We don't have an ice cream scooper, but this will do this just fine. How was your shower? You're not gonna, you're not gonna be. You can sneak past. You can say hi from afar. Hello everyone. <laughs> Enjoy those muffins. They're so good. How was your shower? Oh, it always feels so good. There's the dog next door. But he's a good dog. I do not hear him bark. He just pees on the flowers. Yeah, that's right, and kills them. No oh, baby. you did see him biting the one. Yeah, I did. The dog next door was eating our flowers and took a little piddle on them. Mm -hmm, a big piddle on them. A big piddle on them. Graham, you can put the light on. How are you going to do your makeup? It only does that so much anyway, so. Did you do yoga yesterday? I did up to, I'm not lying, I did it up to, um, what do you call it when you... Lateral stretch? Did that. Oh, up and down. And up and down. Upward salute. Yeah, and I, that's as far as I got. So then I went to lay down. But I did all the others. Good job. Yeah. I gave grandma a yoga sequence that she could do daily at home. This way we can maybe get her into class a little more regularly. Clean in house. Two more sleeves. And another. No waste. No waste. Okay, then once I have everything distributed, clean this. And the Julia Childs. I do like Julia Childs. I do too. So then with a little bowl, coconut sugar, probably two tablespoons, oats, and again, probably two tablespoons, walnuts that I just to like a palmful, and then I'll break them up just with my fingers. And then just sprinkle over top. 
There's always a racket next door no matter what. So we'll slide them in the oven. 18 minutes and then just go from there. It's a perfect fit. And two. <laughs> Will you give me your expert opinion? This is at 30 minutes. This is where we stopped last time. Which one? Just whichever, yeah. No, right? You know what? I would shut it off. Shut it off. Because it's going to be a little less dry. And that's okay. Shut it off, but keep them in? Take them out. Take them out, turn it off, take them out, got it. What else can I get? I need a mascara, I need cat treats, probiotics, toothpicks. I don't think so. So let them sit there, cool oh. for a couple minutes. Oh yeah. I'm talking to them. Oh. But grandma just, she agrees and letting them cool for a couple minutes. Yeah, otherwise I'll burn my tongue. Yeah. Cause I'm dying to have one. She's itching for one. I am. I really am. She wanted some from the last batch, but I had just delivered those earlier this morning. Yeah, well, you're just up and at them, that's all. Excuse me. <laughs> it did take in total time with the oven, I would say about 30 minutes, which I know seems like a long time, but I guess comparing it to like a zucchini bread or a banana bread, I think it would be somewhere similar to that. They're done. I have them on a cooling rack. I leave them on there until like I can comfortably touch the muffin tins, and then I will plate them and the recipe is done. The muffins look fab. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh. I know what else I wanted to say. Per my last video, as an update, I'm still going strong with no coffee, so that was another week. Starting Tuesday to today, I've had a green juice every day, and that has made a huge change. One with energy levels, like where I don't even feel like I miss coffee and or need coffee, and it makes me super, super excited to be starting my day with delicious, healthy, nutritious veggies, fruits, straight to the gut. So that's been really awesome. I don't have a juicer. My dear Kevin has a juicer. I think he's starting to pick up and he's like, I would love to have a green juice every day. I'm like, yes, it's working. So hopefully we can do that together. And then um, instead of going to the store having to get a juice, I can just whip one up at home. That aside, if you enjoyed today's video, my vegan tahini zucchini muffins, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you all soon. Do I have to say more? Treat! I love these little like wrap things from Trader Joe's. I use them instead of plastic wrap. Just a side note. That's pretty delightful. Wow, so many distracting elements. There's no way to really make that flutter in there cute, kind of just kind of plop down. <laughs> so that. I did the vanilla. Clear some of this, hold on. I was doing a weird thing with my fingers there. I haven't eaten yet today. It's 11 o'clock and I've been up since 5.45 <laughs> and I'm hungry. I mean, I just use my teeth. <laughs> I just scrape it off the wrapping and no soldier left behind. Just like when I was cleaning the tins, that's it.